Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. So for dinner tonight, Howard and I went to a Jamaican restaurant. For those of you that don't know, Howard is Jamaican, and of course he likes Jamaican food. So he got oxtail and gravy with rice and peas and cabbage. He also tried out their red pea soup for the first time, and he said it was good, and I tried it, and it was very good. And I got a stewed chicken, a brown stewed chicken, and it came with uh, rice and peas, and then I got some steamed vegetables on the side. Hey guys, so really simple and quick dinner tonight using stuff that I had on hand. So we are having some chicken wings, pastoroni, and fresh buttered corn on the cob. So here is the pastoroni that we are using. And then these are the wings that I cooked tonight. I got these from Kroger on a recent Kroger haul, and I will link that video in the description box, but these are new. And so they had them on sale at Kroger. And these are restaurant style, crispy wings, Caribbean style. So they don't say jerk, they just say Caribbean style. There is a slight kick to the wings and I can taste some allspice. Um, they have a good flavor. They taste a little salty to me. And I did prepare them in the air fryer, which is a recommended cooking, um, let me show you, the recommended heating instructions are, is the air fryer. So anyway, that's how I made them. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having breakfast for dinner, and I'm trying a couple of new things out of my freezer that I bought a long time ago. So I made some fried eggs, and then we're having biscuits and sausage. So the biscuits are from Aldi. They came out a while ago. They were like a special buy. And online, people were saying that they're better than Pillsbury, and I'd have to agree with them. I think these taste more homemade, and they don't have an aftertaste to them. I did follow the instructions for baking them um, at 375. I think next time I would bake them at 350, so that 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 I can make sure they're you know cooked more evenly throughout. But that's just a personal preference. Howard prefers them this texture, but they are good. I will say when I bake them, I did bake them on parchment paper, and I do feel like there is a lot more oil in them than like Pillsbury or any other brand that I've tried. But they are good, and I would buy them again. The sausage I bought a while ago and stuck it in my freezer, Johnsonville Cajun style sausage, and I did bake the sausage in the oven too. They do have a kick to them. They're definitely not child friendly. So Harrison would not be able to eat these, but they do have a really good flavor. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Asian at home. And so I was able to use quite a few things from my freezer and pantry. So I made these shrimp spring rolls, which I absolutely love. They are by CPAC. You can find them pretty much anywhere. I've bought these from Walmart. I've also seen them at Kroger as well, but I just popped them in my air fryer and they turn out golden and crispy and perfect every time. I also made some sauteed broccoli and I used this um, garlic Parmesan butter that I had in my freezer. And then I also used some garlic salt as well. Um, the butter I got from Aldi a while back ago and I just stuck it in my freezer because I found it on sale there. And then the honey garlic shrimp uh, seasoning mix I picked up a few weeks ago. Now this is not something that I would typically order in a Chinese restaurant. I mean, I'm more of a savory person than a sweet person but Howard likes stuff like this, so I wanted to give it a try. I had the shrimp in my freezer, and the only thing that you add to it is um, soy sauce and then honey or white sugar or brown sugar. It turned out okay. Howard said he liked it, but I feel like the sauce was a little bit thick for me and a little bit too sweet for me. Like I said, I'm really more of a savory type of girl. And then I also made some fried rice, 
and this is the seasoning packet that I used. I find this or I found this at, um, it may have been H Mart, I don't remember, which is a Korean grocery store. And I've also found this on Amazon as well, but I always use day old rice on this and it comes with three different seasoning packets and I just add the seasoning package um, to my rice as I'm stir frying it. And then I decided to add in a couple of eggs and then I also added some sesame oil as well. And it always turns out perfect every time. It's a quick and easy version of fried rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard grilled some sausages that I had in my freezer. So Howard really likes uh, cheddar smoked sausages. So he grilled a pack of those. And then I really like hot links. Um, I specifically really like Brahms hot links. Brahms is an ice cream and dairy store that's in Texas, Oklahoma. I'm not sure where else it is, but he grilled those for me. So this is Howard's plate. He probably already knew that by the amount of ketchup on those sausages. And then he's got some chips on the side. This is my plate with the hot link. I just like a little bit of mustard. And I picked up this bag of Lay's. Uh, I can't remember when. I think I may have gotten it from, I don't even remember where. Could be Walmart, I'm not really sure. But this is just their summertime flavor limited. And we both tried it and we both said, eh, it's okay. Can't really taste much. Um, it, it does have a twang to it. Neither one of us are particularly crazy about it. I would not repurchase this again. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.